Hey, what's, what's up, up everybody? everybody? I am Undying Blaze, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time, I crashed really bad. This time, I will be putting uh, extra stage on the bottom. Uh, that is the plan. Is it? No, 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 no. Mooncraft Mark IV. Alright, I remember the Octo Rocket. That was terrifying stuff. Alright, so this craft, while it is amazing and such, it still needs another stage on the bottom. Whoops. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so this is skipper engines. Mooncraft, right? Shoot! No, I accidentally saved it. I am... Okay, save. There we go. Load. Was it the Mooncraft? Or was it the Kerbal Mover? I feel like it was actually the Kerbal Mover. I don't know what I'm doing. These are the mainsail engines. I feel like this is what it ended up being. Yeah, this is definitely it. The Kerbal Mover. So I'm taking all these guys off. I don't need them right now. But what I will need is another stage on the bottom here. I know. It seems redundant, and it is, in fact, very redundant to have so many engines. I think that's how I'll have it. No. Needs to be on the bottom. Alright, so... Little guy there, and then we will have, uh, sure, a couple of these. I mean, the stage itself isn't going to be that big, but I just need as much power as possible. Sure, let's have it down there. And then some of this, and there we go, and then I will have... Sail. That's not a mainsail, that's a skipper. This is a mainsail. Just stick a mainsail there. Open it up and stick some mainsails in all the other places. Alright, cool. So we've got all the mainsails that we need. We'll need to strut these up first. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. Strut these up first, as I was saying. I feel like I understand a lot more of what I'm supposed to be doing now. Fortunately, I decided to take it upon myself to start practicing playing Kerbal so that you guys aren't as uh, tortured when I play this game, which I hope you guys like because I know that it can be very frustrating watching someone who just keeps making so many mistakes when he's playing a game, especially a game like Kerbal where you're supposed to make scientific progress of some sort scientific progress, which I make very little of. I think this is about... Whoa. Whoops. Sure, I think that's about how I had to have it last time. Why not? And then we'll throw on the, um the winglets. There we go, and then... Maybe more winglets this time than last time? Alright, sure. I don't know that this stage is really going to lift anything at all. Hopefully it will. I'm not going to lie, I do have my hopes pretty high right now. Because... Considering I have been practicing Kerbal, I have gotten actually quite a bit better. I actually achieved a circular orbit over Kerbin in my practice area. And that's pretty much all I've done. But I'm really proud of it. Alright, so we'll call this the Mark 6. Because we've made some significant progress. Um, and then we will strut these together. Okay, I am 
actually holding that piece. Okay. Boop. Boop. This is going to be a lag device that will successfully destroy my computer's frame rate. But that's okay. I expected it. Trying to not get too hasty here. Alright, that's good enough. That's good enough. Now I do have to make sure that all my stages are correct. not the right engines. Those are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these down here, plop them all together, and then move them down to the bottom. And I'll add these here. I think they go up above this one, actually. Which ones are these two couplers? And are these All right, so I think this is this is all of the decouplers. So I need to find out which is the bottom decouplers if I can. Dang it, I can't get straight in there. There we go. There we go. Whoop 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 whoop. There we go. Alright, so I'm looking at those. Is it the top ones? No, no, no. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's these. Goodness. Um, alright. Sure, why not? And then... What happened here? Um, I'm really concerned right now. Alright, it shouldn't concern me too much. Okay. If I didn't know that, oh my gosh, I'm, now this is, what? Why am I holding the frickin' engines? Oh my gosh. Okay, um. Which decoupler is this? It's this one. Okay. Okay, why is everything so bad right now? Oh, oh man, this is really frustrating to me. Alright, so that's the reason to believe that these decouplers are in this group too. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, stop it! I am so frustrated right now. Undo. Hopefully this won't lag my computer out too much. I am just... Uh, I hate staging so much. Like, out of everything, I wish that just the staging just worked. Wouldn't that be wonderful, you guys? Wouldn't it? But no. Now I'm waiting. I'm simply just waiting. There we go. Now the undo actually took hold. So, um... There we go. See? That's what I needed. And then it's got to be moved, what, up all the way the heck here? What the heck? Holy moly. Apparently I got an email. 
I really, I'm just so tempted to just test this. What Kerbals are in it? Alton. Wait, there's parachutes in the top, right? And I have the abort button. I have the abort button. Let's just save this and launch. Let's just see what happens. I am tired of this. We are going into space. Not really. We're going to crash and burn, but it's going to look awesome, okay? Um, hopefully it doesn't break apart on the launch pad, because that will be an early press of the abort button, I tell you what. Let's get out there. Let's not lag too much either. Please. I'd rather not. Love the music. So awesome. I'm like watching myself on my screen dancing. I look ridiculous. Alright, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Got my finger on the abort button. Nice! Now let's just take off. Staging here is still fine. So many rockets. <laughs> Yay, and my last little rocket. Let's actually get back to the space center real quick. so happy. He does, it's not like he seems to know that his ship is actually blowing up around him. 
I mean, granted, it was actually on purpose, the detonation, so maybe... That's what he has to look forward to. Let's just keep on going to the space station. Uh-oh. Oh, now we're falling. Now we can't. We lost all control here. Let's just fast forward to the ground. I mean, we've got to deploy our parachutes and stuff, but other than that... Let's deploy all parachutes simultaneously rip this thing in half. I'm just kidding. That's not what it acts. Oh, that looks beautiful. What is it? F2 to... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So pretty. Whoops! Clicked out of it for a second. I keep I keep doing that because I have the my second screen is my um is my video recording. So I keep clicking on it. All right. Enough about me. Let's play this game. And then because I can't revert, so I have to just pick it back up. Boop. Landing gear down. And. Let's actually land this. Woo! Okay. Now what we're going to do... I forgot to recover it, but I'll just recover it. My leg was under me and it was starting to fall asleep. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to recover the vessel right here. Just check the staging a little bit more. It was mostly alright, which was nice. The beginning stages were completely okay. The ship didn't explode on takeoff, so that's a huge plus. And I've also found out that it might actually be faster to just go straight to the moon. Um, and it seems to be just about as efficient considering I didn't make it. I made it just as far pretty much as I did last time. Alright, so... So the stages here are fine. And so these all are supposed to detach. And then that, that those, bleh, 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 I can't talk at all today. Uh, so I'll zoom on down here. Just, I want to be so incredibly sure that I know what I'm doing. I don't want anything to go wrong, because if anything goes wrong, we won't make it. So... And then Okay, then that one's this. And I think it should go like this. So these, then this. Why not? You know what? I'll save it like this, and I just thought of a way to test it. Instead of launching, I will, uh, well, I will still launch, more or less, but what I will do is instead of firing the solid fuel boosters, I am going to detach the solid fuel boosters while accelerating with my liquid fuel engines. I hope you guys understand exactly what that is. If you've been watching this long, you most likely know exactly what I mean. But let's just do this. Let's do this thing. There's a lot of waiting in this game, but I like it. It's nice and calming, because the rest of it is just chaos. Alright, um... Please don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. I do not have the time for you to fall apart. Whoa, don't know what that sound thing was. I don't even know if you guys heard it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is detach these first. I destroyed 
destroyed my landing pad. That's fun and very glitchy. Oh, crap. Abort. Abort. Crap. 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 We gotta let him live. We gotta let him live. We gotta let him live. died. There seemed to be an error in the design of my vehicle. Hmm. All right, any day now. I mean, that I mean, don't don't wait on my account, but seriously, let's just actually keep going. Oh my goodness, this is just one explosion after another. Um I mean, if you guys like that, that's that's great, but I, that's not what I want. All right, we are running out of time, so I think this is this is that time. Oh, my eye just started watering for no reason. Where the heck is this engine? It's all the way down there? Whoops. Um. Sure. Thing goes all the way down here. Okay, yeah, that was. Oh, this is so screwed up. They don't highlight these edges enough. Okay, that's good. It should all be good. So let's just go up. Whoa. Oh, I need to fix the launch pad. Uh, give me a second. So I'm going to save and exit. I've got to fix the launch pad. Fortunately, I don't uh, need money in this game. So I can just repair it. But I'm like, oh, crap. Uh, yeah, I, that's one thing I don't like about career mode is if you destroy the launch pad in like your first launch or something like that. Oh, Alden was alive. Well, hey. Hello. Um How do I repair you? Hello? I can't click on anything anymore. I'll go to the main menu and then come back. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. I'm glad you guys are having fun too. Oh my goodness. This is so frustrating. But all right, see, this is my practice one. I've got a space station in orbit. I'm really proud of that, actually. I'm so unreasonably proud. I mean, it is difficult to get a, at least some, it's not a circular orbit, it is a semi-circular orbit, I need to tell you guys that, 
Because there's no way I was getting that circular. Well, not very circular. I mean, I, I'm not good enough for that. Anyway, of course it's in creative mode or whatever. What on earth is going on? Let's fly the debris. And then we'll uh, recover it or something. I don't know. I don't know how I got locked out of my space station. Now let's recover. Okay. We'll just go to the space center. And then we will fix our thingamajig. We shall, and it'll be awesome, okay? Don't judge me. Whoa, what happened? All right. Uh, let's go to this piece, then. And we'll try going to Space Center instead of Tracking Station, I guess. Or not, sorry, Tracking Station instead of Space Center. I don't know what's going on, guys. If you have any solution or, uh, or comments about this, I have no idea what's going on here. It looks like all physics stopped completely. Oh. Oh, you look like parts from another ship. Okay. Anyway, so we're, we'll recover you. Woo. Did I get anything? Can I please click on anything? Alright guys, I'm going to exit the game and come back. I'll be back in like just a second. I'm actually not going to leave. Just me exiting the game is so fast, generally, that I don't really have to worry about it. Because see, it is already starting up. Well, it will be in like five seconds, so. Okay, I, have, I still have no idea what went on. Um, yeah, I'm just in suspense right now, hoping that my progress is not for nothing right now. I'm freaking out. Um, maybe one of these times, if you guys want me to, I will do a live stream of me playing Kerbal, because I think that would be a lot of fun, having you guys actually have input, and I want to do that very often, um, possibly like once a week or something, like have maybe a weekly live stream where I am playing things like Kerbal Space Program and such. Just doing things that you guys want me to do, and no matter what, I will do my best to do them, even if it's like getting to Elu or something like that, like something just ridiculously far away. I will do it for you guys. Um, it just may take several live streams to actually complete. However, I do plan on doing live streams in the future. I may uh, end up doing one today, but most likely on Saturday. Um, so in two days. That's the more likely one. Oh my goodness, yay! Let's repair. Bam, I built it. Okay, whoa, why can't I click on that? Let's show our debris. Can I just, like, clear all debris? Woo, I'm getting nothing for this, too. Okay, well, I just won't worry about debris right now. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. All that debris. Okay, let's go to the VAB now. Okay, now let's actually take off. Now that I've got my ship built and I finally fixed the launch pad, which for some reason I couldn't click on, uh, I still would like some sort of um, comment on what the heck was going on there. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions of what could have possibly gone on, because if that happens in the future, I won't know what to do to fix it other than to reload the game. So, and maybe reloading the game was the only thing I could have done. If so, again, you guys can tell me. I am a huge comment person. I love comments. I try to respond to every single one um, as soon as I can. I mean, 
I'm not going to just propagate comments. Like, I'm not going to just keep commenting on comments that are like, okay, 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 bye, 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 bye. Like, I will not do that. But I'm just saying, like, I'll respond to comments. All right. Let's wait. No, I don't want SAS because usually that throws me off. With a ship this long, you actually don't usually need to use SAS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up to full throttle slowly because that's as fast as this game is letting me take it. I am so incredibly frustrated. I mean, 
mean, granted, I didn't even load it up with Kerbals beforehand, but I didn't really care that much. I just wanted to launch it, and it's getting so frustrating. I might start doing stuff in sandbox mode just because I really, really want to actually do something with my life in this game. Alright, come on, let's do this. glad this is so fun. I'm sorry the screen isn't brighter. Uh, I wasn't expecting to do so much flying at night. Oh well. Let's just fast forward this a bit now. Oh, things got a little weird. That huge ship that's way up there is just, it's scaring me a lot. Because it is still up there, I think. Yeah, the five kilometers away one, I think. Anyway, um, <laughs> it'll probably hit the ground before I do, because I'll have parachutes. Or at least I really darn hope I'll have parachutes. By the time I make it down. Alright... And it looks like I might land on the actual space center itself, which is not good. So I am going to direct myself away, just in case. Alright, I should be okay. Now I will deploy my parachutes so that I don't die. Okay, I'll be okay now. The frame rate is still so low and it's probably because of the gigantic ship that's way up there. Let's fast forward a bit. Just to get down, I am such a slow paced episode like I wanted to just have like fast paced put some engines on the ship and then we just take off that's all I wanted it's all I wanted with my life but no. what I could have done is actually built it separately uh, and then attached it which probably would have been better I mean it it would have had a lot more likelihood of uh, it would have had a greater sorry likelihood of destroying my ship but it, or not destroying my ship. Well, I guess. But more, um, it would have had a greater likelihood of causing the game to crash. That's what it would have had a greater likelihood of doing. Now, whoops. Closed out of the game again. Well, not closed out, but see if we can switch ships. What else is there to be a part of here? Okay, interesting. Also, where is my ship? I wanted to be, be in my ship. That's where my ship is. Oh, goodness. What is this? Oh, just a detacher. Oh, this is still falling, okay. I was like, what is going on? 
And this is going to break when it hits the ground. I love how everything explodes so much. Just decouplers. Just, they're all falling right now. Now let's be... Whoops. Okay, let's be at the uh, Kerbal Mover. Just hanging out. Being awesome and such. Yes, I know the parachutes are deployed. Uh, Nothing else seems to be in the sky. I don't know where that huge ship went. It might have despawned due to its distance away. Let's uh go ahead and recover our vessel and then we'll just we'll just finish the episode on a slightly uh sadder low tone but more explosive note. Um oh, come on. Let's just Oh, I already am it. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. All right, just recover the vessel. Well, this has been an awesome episode, sort of. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh my goodness. Uh, hopefully next episode will actually be better. I will get the kinks worked out of my pretty cool ship. It's still a work in progress for sure. Maybe I'll add some more fins to the bottom just to keep it a little bit slower on the bottom and keep it going on the top half. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I know that it can be grueling going through a series like this, but I thank you so much for your dedication. And uh, and I know it's a lot more easy for you guys as a view viewer to sit and watch rather than me to have to sit and play this. But at the same time, I really want to thank you because not many people have that kind of patience. And while I for sure have the patience to sit and play through this game, the patience that it takes to watch through the series um kind of can cancel out the um the simpleness of just sitting and watching something it'll just make it a lot more difficult to just sit and watch and i thank you so much guys you guys are awesome and you guys make the world go around for me and i will see all of you guys in the next episode goodbye